Hello YouTube! Lyricide17 here, but you can just call me Travis. And welcome to a very special Halloween video. Uh, one in which I'm going to talk about my top 10 horror movies. So, some time back, I don't know, maybe a month or two, maybe three months now even, uh, I think when I was doing uh, Farley's, one of Farley's contests, uh, one of, the, one of the questions he wanted us to answer was about a horror movie and like why we liked it or whatever. I don't actually don't remember if it was even had to be a horror movie. Maybe it did. It doesn't matter. But anyway, in my video, I casually just said that uh, a specific movie would probably even be my top 10. Uh, and so Andrew Bellina uh, left a comment on that video asking me uh, what I, he would like to see what my top 10 list would be. So uh, I sort of been thinking about it and uh, now I'm ready to show you. So let's just uh, not waste any time. Let's just get into it. In the background, we are listening to uh, Total Terror by Cluster Buster. So it's appropriate. All right, before we get in the top 10, I got way too many honorable mentions to show you. So let's let's show some of those. All right, first off, uh, I'm just going to start off with some classics. Uh, I'm going to go the entire Friday the 13th series. Uh, I, for the most part, I really like all of them. I mean, I don't love any of these movies, but they're all very, very solid, nice, good, solid slashers. And uh, for the most part, I, I, if I had to you know, force a, a ranking, I could do it. But for the most part, I kind of like them all around the same. So recommend all those. Uh, another classic, Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one. Just great, fantastic horror movie. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, another just another classic, classic movie. Uh, this is a fantastic kid-friendly horror movie, The Monster Squad. Definitely uh, check this one out if you have not ever watched this. It is a lot of fun, and Wolfman does have narts. Uh, this uh, I wanted to showcase this one because it's the one I don't hear anyone ever talk about. Uh, it's called Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. It actually uh, was originally a TV movie, and I only saw it like maybe a couple times growing up, but it, it left an impression on me. And so when I was able to find a DVD copy of this, I immediately uh, snagged it. So yeah, definitely check this one if you've never watched it. It's pretty solid. Uh, just a couple of Hitchcock films. Uh, really into both Strangers on a Train and Rope. Uh, Rope in particular I love because there's only eight total shots in the whole entire movie. So a lot of uh, long cuts. So uh, pretty cool. Like, well, I like Hitchcock in general, but those are probably my two favorite by him. Uh, Last House on the left, another Wes Craven movie. Uh, this actually is, I would say, the movie that sort of springboarded me into wanting to check out more horror movies. Uh, when I first started buying DVDs, uh, I went and actually at the same time I bought uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare, which I love. And uh, I saw this too, it was written and directed by Wes Craven, never heard of it before, knew anything about it, and I picked that one up too. And it just, uh, I don't know, it gave me a whole new other level of what horror could be. So, yeah, definitely wanted to show that. And then probably be my ultimate honorable mention uh, is, uh, is Jaws. Uh, this one's always really tough for me because I love Jaws. It is one of my favorite movies, period, genre exclu excluded. But uh, I don't know, I just never really know whether to count this as a horror movie or to not count it as a horror movie. So, uh I decided to just make an honorable mention, but if you consider it a horror movie, just say that my list is 11 and this is number one. All right, let us get into the list. All right, number 10. You're gonna see a lot of this guy's name. Lucio Fulci's The Beyond, I think also known as uh, The Seven Doors of Death, and uh, I think the original Italian name is like La Delia or something like that. It's not like a direct translation, I don't think. But anyway, uh, just a fantastic, Creepy, surreal Lucio Fulci movie. I guess you could call it a zombie movie, I guess. There's zombies in it, but I don't know if I really consider this uh, like a straightforward zombie movie. But uh, just, you know, awesome, awesome Fulci flick. I <clears throat> uh, already mentioned this one previously. Uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Just, I love this movie. Uh, it's sort of, it's sort of almost as kind of a, a sort of a rehash of the first one and that you sort of has that like line between uh, what's actually happening and what's actually not happening, which sort of all the movies do, but I think the first one and this one do it the best. And uh, I don't know, I think there's just something sort of more uh, raw and visceral about this one versus versus the first one, which I also really love. It'd probably be in the 20, top 20 if I made that. But yeah, anyway, love this movie. Great. Uh, next up, 
this is uh, another zombie movie. Uh, Dawn of the Dead, Romero, Romero's second installment of the uh, I guess, trilogy, or more if you want to count it. Uh, just a great, awesome uh, zombie movie. One of the best ever. Uh, I like the remake too, but this one, definitely, definitely better. Next up, uh, this is uh, sort of a giallo is what they're called, but we'll call it a horror today. Deep Red, Dario Argento. Love this one. Just a great murder mystery sort of horror movie. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I won't say too much else about it. Next up, uh, the only one that has sort of a comedy bent to it. This is uh, Shaun of the Dead. Really, really, really like this movie. And I'm now realizing that uh, apparently my really into zombie movies more than I realized. But yeah, just funny, hilarious, and as well as just being a great horror movie. Uh, it, it really does a great job of being both. Next up, uh, newly... I think uh, I think it's maybe not all screens, maybe it's some limited screens at this point. But uh, remake of this movie is out now. Suspiria, another Dario Argento film. Uh, this one's just great. the The music is perfect. Uh, the The shots and like the lighting and the use of color is amazing. And yeah, this is just a fantastic horror movie. All right, next up, where are we at now? This is uh, number four. Uh, second installment from Lucio Fulci, House by the Cemetery, Beware of Dr. Freudstein. Uh, just another awesome uh, horror movie, zombie movie. Uh, and, even, and even the atrocious dubbing of Bob cannot keep this from being number four. And it's really bad dubbing. Uh, but yeah, just awesome, awesome movie. Uh, next up, another one from Lucio Fulci. This is the aforementioned zombie classic classic zombie movie also great music uh of the special effects and all of Fulci stuff uh long working with Giannetto De Rossi so you know it's gonna be some good stuff uh just love 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 this movie uh number two actually is being borrowed by a friend of mine at the moment so I have a DVD to show you but it is Romero's Day of the Dead, the third installment of the trilogy, or more if you would like to say. Uh, I just love, love, love that movie. It is so good. I really love the, the kind of secluded uh, bunker aspect of the movie, which sort of is similar to uh, the sort of camped in, secluded nature of Dawn of the Dead in the mall. But uh, there's just something extra special about the seclusion going on here. And also just the uh, Tom Savini special effects are just... One of the best movies ever in terms of that. And then last but not least, perhaps maybe unsurprisingly, but maybe, I don't know, uh, Halloween. I mean, what's there really to say about Halloween? It is just a fantastic horror movie. I'm not really sure if I'm going to see uh, the remake as uh, I'm uh, hearing a lot of mixed results and most of those results maybe being bad. Uh, I did like the zombie remake. It was okay. So uh, maybe I'll check it out eventually, but nothing, nothing beats this. This is just a fantastic horror movie, Halloween. All right, so I know I didn't spend too much time talking about any of those. Just wanted to kind of run through a bunch of horror movies and my top 10 list real quick, just to kind of give you an idea of what kind of stuff I was into. So there you go, Andrew, there is a, uh, there's my list. So uh, yeah, uh, that's all I really got to say. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're familiar with any of these uh, movies, please let me know what you think of them. And uh, yeah, happy Halloween.